Welcome to another episode of the Watchlist series. Today we are going to talk about Regeneron, coming through on a promise, initiating investigation of Regen CoV-2, an investigational dual antibody cocktail for prevention of COVID-19. So, Regeneron has received $450 million for an advanced investigational monoclonal antibody targeting COVID-19 called RegenCoV-2. Now, it is a sophisticated cocktail involving bioengineered antibodies targeting SARS-CoV-2. Earlier this year, back in the spring, they had declared that they were committing all resources and their powerful Velocimmune platform which leverages humanized mice, which have been genetically modified to have human immune system. Now, as it turns out, they have indeed come through with what could be an incredibly promising product called Regen CoV-2. So, what is Regen CoV-2? Well, it's a cocktail of two antibody-based products. It is the result of a fast and furious effort over the last number of months. The effort was made possible by the company's Velocimab, high-throughput screening, as well as manufacturing capabilities. It should be worth noting that in this case, Regeneron followed a formula, the same rapid response they brought to the Ebola crisis with. And so, currently, this product is under FDA review. So, why is the Regen CoV-2 product potentially special? Well, it's based on the company's ability to rapidly screen antibodies. The investigational product represents the most potent, non-competing, and virus-neutralizing antibodies now scaled up for clinical use. These two antibodies bind non-competitively to the clinical receptor domain, or RBD, of the novel coronavirus's spike protein, which diminishes or reduces the mutant virus' ability to escape treatment. Now, the company demonstrates this in its recent publication in Science. And so, it has launched three studies, including one for hospitalized patients, one for ambulatory patients, and interestingly, the one that got the attention of us here at Trial Site News, a phase three clinical trial for those that are not sick, but that have been in contact with someone at their home who have been diagnosed. What we found fascinating and possibly a little disturbing was how could this trial get to phase three so rapidly? Let's take a closer look here. Trial Site News has uncovered some interesting dynamics about this study. It has not gone through the normal study phases. Rather, the company and the FDA had an agreement to use a sentinel population as a baseline for a phase one research, rather than one formal phase one study. Recently, an independent data monitoring committee watching the patients gave the green light for Regeneron to proceed into the next phase of the trial. Yet, Regeneron is still blinded to the data. Or at least they were when we here at Trial Site News spoke with Regeneron spokesperson. Yet the study proceeds, and moreover, there was confusion because in press releases, Regeneron mentioned they phase one and safety data, yet there was no disclosed or documented phase one. And so, as the study has gone directly to phase three, which is fairly unheard of for a sophisticated, exotic new monoclonal antibody, so too will we here at Trial Site News be monitoring this study carefully. The whole key to phase one is safety. And as the supposed sentinel population is the proxy for a safe phase one, Trial Site News will then be seeking to understand from the company where those patients were actually seen, which hospital. Now, given that the company was just awarded $450 million of taxpayer money, there is an additional heightened sense of civic duty to monitor this development. Now, it should be noted that they do plan on giving away products should it be approved. However, they propose a limited supply of free product. And when Trial Site News contacted Regeneron, they acknowledged that they don't know yet what the pricing will be. Now, 
Because of the stakes of COVID-19, Trial Site News is grateful that biotech companies such as Regeneron are working tirelessly and furiously to innovate and find cures or treatments to this insidious, horrific disease. But we are also mindful that an awful amount of taxpayer dollars are being handed out under Operation Warp Speed. And in this case of Regeneron, with their $450 million in taxpayer money, although they will offer free product, we question the math and the return on investment calculus. And so, we will just have to see. The prognosis looks promising. Regeneron is a powerful, fully innovative biotech company, and we, of course, are hopeful that this clinical trial goes in the right direction. But Trial Site News, as always, will keep our eyes critically focused on the actual results. For more information on our coverage of this developing story, we will provide a link in the description below. And from there, you can find information on Velocimmune mice, Velocimab, and more from this story. And so once more, my friends, we must bring this episode to a close. But as always, we look forward to seeing you all again next time.